Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to our channel. And today we are gonna get some streaming services working on our Raspberry Pi 4, which is Netflix, Disney+, Plus, Amazon, Spotify. Yeah, you name it. So let's get started. Now, before we begin, I wanna thank Pi Labs for actually sending this over to me again, just reminding me that we could do this on our Raspberry Pis. And with the conditions that we are in right now, basically staying at home, why not have another device stream our media, right? So let's begin. So I'm gonna show you guys two ways on how you can achieve this. And the first way, which is the easy way, you can head over to this website. Now, I can't pronounce it, but I'll leave a link down in the description and you can see it right on the browser over here. Now, I am sorry for the HDMI recorder that I am using. It is terrible and I know I'm in the middle of replacing it. So bear with me until I get a brand new one. But for now, yeah, the qu picture quality isn't that great on the HDMI capture. But anyway, heading over to this website, we're gonna need to download a couple of things, basically two things that will make this work. So if you navigate down the website a little, he actually shows you a little way to get it. I'm just gonna alter it a little bit by just downloading the two files and moving it to the locations I want it to be. So I'm gonna open up a terminal and just grab the first script, which is wget and then this little string over here. Once I grab that, I'm gonna paste it into my downloads folder and then we're gonna to have to grab the next file. Now the magic happens actually on the next file, which is his little shortcut. This actually converts your Chromium into a certain user agent that thinks it's a PC and it allows you to stream the content with the library that you just downloaded, which allows for DRM. So by joining these two things together, that's what really makes everything work. But the shortcut icon really converts it into like, this is a PC. So once you're done downloading the first file, download the second file, and you should have two files in your directory, which is the desktop icon and also the library. First, you're gonna extract the library and then change the permissions over to 755 using chmod. And then I'm gonna copy it over to the user slash lib slash chromium folder. And that is it with that. The next one we're gonna to have to extract is the de desktop icon. And you can actually move it over to your user slash application folder, but I'm just gonna move it over to my desktop. This way I won't interfere with my main icons. So I have a desktop icon just for streaming. So once you have that, that's basically it. Now, opening that, you should be able to open Netflix. And I've tried this on the Raspberry Pi 4 with four gigs of RAM. And it's really, really good actually. Um, full screen, you might get like a little bit of frame dropping, maybe one or 2% of it is frame dropping. And it goes away if you overclock the CPU to two gigahertz. I haven't noticed any frame dropping if I was overclocking my Raspberry Pi 4. I also tested this on Disney Plus, but it seems to lag a little on Disney Plus when starting, but still plays the video fine. Uh, I also tested it on Amazon, which works good as well. And I also tested this on Spotify. Spotify was a huge lag in the beginning when I was trying to open up the music, but other than that, it works. The DRM content all works. Now, I've also tested this on Raspberry Pi 3. Now, if you're using this on a Raspberry Pi 3, yes, totally achievable, but you are gonna get at least a good seven or 8% of frame drops, maybe even a little bit more if you're not running any overclock or anything like that. But yes, it does work on Raspberry Pi 3 as well. Now, the second method that I'm gonna show you guys how to get this is by downloading the actual recovery image from Chrome OS. Now, you could do this by, I have a link down in the description. This will download a config file, which will allow you to download actually any recovery image of a Chrome OS device. Now, you just have to Google yourself which Chrome OS device is ARM-based. And I'm using this model number here. I, I don't remember off the top of my head. But yeah, you download this one, you're gonna actually gonna get this image file. Now extract the image file using 7-zip and you're gonna extract the bin file. And in that bin file, you're gonna to have to extract it again and you're gonna get a root A file, root dash A. Now, once you're in there, open that up, go into the op directory, then Google, and in there you should find the lib widevine. So this is in case if something gets updated and the website that you're trying to grab this from hasn't have the latest update, you grab this, you could do it yourself and grab it or yeah, this is the second method basically. But the desktop icon is probably very important. So I would grab the desktop icon from this guy. Again, once you get the lib file, just transfer it over and you're all set again. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you guys are also staying safe. Uh, hopefully this will help you get your streaming services up and running again on these little tiny Raspberry Pi devices. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is gonna be out. And as I say in my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.